the concept that the immune system might be able to be used to fight sarcoma is one that uh, dates back all the way to the late 1800s. Um, however, really it's only been in the last few years that people have started to explore modern immunotherapy and how it can be used for sarcomas. Um, there's actually quite a bit we don't know about sarcomas and the immune system. Um, in particular, we're just starting to learn about what immune cells might be inside of the tumor deposits. Um, there's also a really exciting paper uh, that was recently published by Dr. Pollock's group out in Seattle um, that suggested there could potentially be a genetic immunosignature um, that may be a better, bio, better biomarker for immune activity compared to uh, traditional markers like PDL1 or particular immune cell infiltrates. So that's uh, some future uh, very exciting work that we're looking forward to. In terms of drugs that are out there, of course everything always revolves around the checkpoint inhibitors, but during my talk I went over several different ways that the immune system can be targeted, whether it's vaccine therapy, there's several exciting combination studies using vaccines, um, adoptive T-cell therapy is also extremely exciting. Um, there are several targets that are now in development uh, using CAR T-cells or engineered T-cells for sarcomas. And then there's really dozens of combination studies that are incorporating checkpoint inhibitors with agents like uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors or like new immuno targets like IDO1. Um, so the other thing is that there's several studies with double checkpoint inhibitors. So really there's a wealth of opportunities for sarcoma patients to participate in, in clinical trials, primarily combinations at this time.